107.5 WGCI, the shy's number one for ah. hip-hop and R&B. Hey, we are excited yes. today because we got one of Chicago's own in the building. In the, got the new the single in the trunk. Yeah. Fendi the Rapper, what's happening? Go, go, go. Early, never late. Yeah. Got you up early this morning. How you feeling, man? I'm feeling great. I'm feeling great. That morning life. That morning life. You know they say early, early birds get the, get the worm. You feel me? And the bag. In the bag. <laughs> in the bag. All right, let's get right to it, Fendi. Let's talk about it. The new single, In the Trunk. Uh-huh. What was the inspiration? You got Big Glow. Yeah, I got Big Glow. Y'all man. doing y'all thing on that. Not, not, you slowly are becoming the queen of turn up. For sure. What? Yeah. For sure. It's not a question. Yeah. Look like she is yeah. the queen of turn up. Yeah, I am. I, I want them to dance turn up. Yeah. So, um... I almost pulled my wig off making that song, man. And y'all know I'm play about my hair. I'm in the studio, hot making it. I'm making it on my nose. I'm like, man, Joe, I messed it up. I said, oh, the whole song messed up. I get to messing with my hair. I said, I went back. I got it right. I said, oh, yeah, this is a hit. It came. I yeah. just made it in the studio. I'm like, oh, this is a hit. Um, Danny Mob, shout out Danny Mob. He said yeah. he one of the producers. He had some me to... Um, beat in the studio. I don't even listen to beats or none. So my homie, he just was like, man, this don't, this boy, he sent some beats. I'm like, play it. He played that. I'm you finna get drunk. What? What? Y'all know I'm already <laughs> turn up. I'm already turned up. So I'm like, oh yeah, this it. For sure. Hey, just first off, tell everybody that you are not my long lost sister. Everybody be like, everybody <laughs> swear. <laughs> everybody swear we related. Are you serious? Yes. <laughs> That's crazy. I this, feel like if this I. This might be my brother. Oh, oh man, man, we man, we just had Hulu. We not me. Hulu. Oh, no, my daddy crazy. Bro. Hey, no. <laughs> <laughs> hey, but you know, you always hear about how tough it is for women to collab yeah. together. You yeah, know what yeah, I'm saying? For sure. And you have had not had that problem at all. You know, you had the, the single with, with Cardi B. Mm-hmm. You've had now the single uh, uh, in the trunk with, with Glow Rilla. Why do you think it's so easy for you to, you know, collab with other female artists? Um, I think, like, when they hear it, Kasoons, Glow sent me hers. She sent me the finishing. And I called her back, and I said, man, you went crazy. She said... Because when I heard it, you went crazy. Uh, I'm like, oh, yeah. Fed off so each other's you energy. You feel me? Yeah. So I'm like, they hear, like, when they hear, they like, oh, okay, this going to get the club. This going to get the people. This going to get the rural yeah. lit. So I'm trying to get with that. You feel me? Yeah. yeah. So I know they like, okay, Fendi, turn up. We finna turn up. We so turn anything up. I send out, and I be like, man, you like, they be like, oh, yeah. They match it. They yeah, match they be energy. like, oh, yeah. I, what I, what I want to talk about, I like the fact that you took Two things that are Chicago, and that's mm-hmm. drill and that's juke, juke, and you kind of blended them together to create a whole new something that's from Chicago. Because you know, you get people from Detroit to be like Jit and For then sure. Philly, like they do their thing. But really, when you talk about drill and you talk about juke, you talk about Chicago. Talk about that. Was that something you you sought out to do, or it just fell in your lap that way. Like, it really just fell in my lap that way. <laughs> and somebody just told me, like, man, you just brought a whole different Stop, job. Yeah. I'm like, what is they talking about? But it just it be like that. Yeah. Like, it's cause, a whole cause, different... Because I this is a true story. I came in one day, because uh-huh. how I heard point me to him, I, I was on TikTok, and I seen a video of these chicks fighting and they, they had the, mm-hmm, and I kept hearing that. And then they panned over, and it was chicks twerking on top of the top. And I was like. I, you, I remember the day I came, came in. in. He said, hey, that Point Me song. Point hey, me bro, to that's my. Try to slay kids. Point me to him. Who <laughs> made that? He was, he was hitting the table and everything. I went crazy. I said, this song's crazy. I, I went to Philly. I be going there. Well, watch the DC. They be like, oh, Fendi, they be so geeked about it. And I'm like, what? what's wrong? <laughs> they like, you broke something back. They just be on the white. Like, they be saying everything. I just be like, wow, this is crazy. Man, it's crazy. They geeking up about it. Yeah. <laughs> and you know what else is, is, I think is really dope about you. You know what I'm saying? You, you're super successful. And to some people, they may look at that like, you know, you got this success. Um, like, they just see the fast success. You right. got Cardi B. They see the Glorilla. Right. But what, what's something that they may not see, like some setbacks or, you know what I'm saying, obstacles that you've been through in your career that, uh. you know, the people don't know about? Man, I done took ills after ills with it. Like, um, I had an Instagram that was going crazy. I lost it. Now I'm building it back up. Mm-hmm. Like, it that was a big ill of the, the whole career. Like, but I still 
like keep going, even though it discouraged me, that made me go hard. You know, I thought that was a fake page. Right. It, it, when it refollowed me, yeah. I, was right. like, I was like, man. I was like, yeah. Yeah, that's you what know. they said. They like, you got to get that verified photo. They can know it's you, you. Mm-hmm. I'm like, okay, cool. And they don't think it's the scammers. You feel <laughs> <laughs> I would like you for you to send me $1,000 and yeah. I will send it back $5,000. I will send it back. <laughs> I swear. So, yeah. so, um, Let's talk about the early beginnings uh, when you was when you was savage with it. Oh, okay. And, and 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 talk about how that evolved into where you are now, and musically, how much of you has changed since then, or is it kind of like the same same thing? You just amped it up a couple of notches. Um. Okay. When I was growing up, I, I grew up in Chicago, the South Side. Um. I was in a little group called Pink Savage. It was a little group of girls. It was like fifteen of us. And um, we always used to make music. So we had one friend that stood out the most. She was very popular, and she always liked to do music. Mm -hmm. But we was just in the back just making music with her because she wanted to. But we really knew how to make music. Um, Her name was Tinka. She ended up passing away in 2017. Condolences. Mm -hmm. Uh, Thank you. She really inspired me, like, to go hard with the music. Like, so when she passed, I'm like, oh, I think I want to do this. So, but it took me a minute. It took me to like 2019 to take it serious. Yeah. But after I started taking it serious, it's just, that's when it started getting serious. Mm-hmm. Like, people be like, um, I'm, I'm I'm trying to take it serious. Take it serious before it can start getting serious. Mm-hmm. Facts, yeah. So, it started getting serious and um, I ended up moving to Houston. I wanted to really focused on my music, you feel me? It's a lot of distraction here. It's family, jobs, all type, any, streets, everything. Yeah, streets, yeah. all that. So I um, moved to Houston, focused on that, focused on my um, music, and I dropped Juke Song. Yeah, when I dropped Juke Song, everybody just started hitting me up, and I said, I got to get back to my city. So when I got back here, I just start the, they just started coming, coming like, yeah. The everything just started coming. I'm like, it just started coming into my lap. I'm like, whoa, I've been here this whole time yeah. trying to do music. And then when I leave, you feel me? But it was just like all God's plan. And it was it was, it was was very good because instead of, I was in Houston paying DJs to play my juke song. Okay. Yeah. Instead of Chicago, they was in here in the snow dancing to the juke song <laughs> and everything. It was going viral. I'm like, oh, man, let me go on back home. And, and when I did, show sure enough, it went up. But um, I had a lot of trials, tribulations, and and I um, I love, every page I get, I try to build up. I I tr- I lose it. I'm gonna I'm not I'm gonna work on that this year, <laughs> right? For yeah. sure. And, um, that's a that's lot light of, work. Like I mean, yeah. you know that you know the Instagram page and stuff like that. I think I think what's amazing to us here when we sit and we watch our people from the crib. You know, blow up. I've been blessed. We've been For blessed sure. to see like the Dirks and everything in the world. And now you part of that movement. You For know sure. what I'm saying? Like it's a young lady somewhere listening right now saying, "Man, Fendi, Fendi said yeah. I could do yeah. it. Yeah. I'm gonna do yeah. it." Yeah, and the thing is, the thing is with you, Fendi, like your humility is gonna take you so so far. Absolutely. You just you just really really humble and you personable and you easy to work with. You For know sure. what I'm saying? For sure. And I I saw on your Instagram you was like, man, um, you you was like. You ain't got fans. You got supporters. For sure. Why? Why was it important to make that distinction? Because like everybody think they can be doing one thing. They can do nails. Uh, um, I got fans. She a fan. She want to <laughs> come do my like everybody. This is maybe this a supporter. Maybe she supports you from the heart. You mm-hmm. you you don't know. So at this point in life, I don't have fans. They not fans. They my supporters. Anybody that listen to me, buy my music, come in the snow, the rain, anything for me and for my music is a supporter. That's dope. That's dope. That's dope. I love that. Hey, before you leave, I want you to give one last message out to your supporters and people in Chicago who may not know who Fendi is. When it's all said and done, when it's when you look down the line a couple years from now, however long, what do you want people to say about Fendi and her music, what you want your legacy to be? First of all, I want to say thank you. Thank you all. Mm-hmm. And um, I just want them to say Fendi, turn, she lit. <laughs> like, that's that's one of the ones, the greatest. All, all the time, right. You, of all times, like, for sure. Fendi, before you get out of here, introduce the song, baby. Yeah. Can you introduce the song for us? Fendi in a trunk is out now on all platforms. Future, your girl, Glorilla. Come on, baby! Big Glow! Yeah! Fendi Big Glow! She say, oh, gang, oh, gang, gang. Yeah, we snapped on that.